Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up JRAT just like I did Dark Comet in my other video. First, open up JRAT and then you'll go to Server Module Advanced Builder, which I already have open. Change the inscription key a few times with this green arrow and then copy that with Control C and put this into a notepad document to keep for later. And change your password to whatever you want. At the moment, it's already set as default as 1234, which I'll leave it as. Then your IP address here, and this port, 1336. You can get your IP address from whatismyip.org or some other website, which I'm not going to link to in this video. But go to your router settings, which you can find in CMD from the start search and type in ipconfig. Now scroll up and look at default gateway. You're going to put that in your address bar like I have right here and then you'll hit enter and it'll ask for a login. Now you should already know that and if you don't please look at your instruction for your router or look it up online. But look at your IPv4 address. It ends in a hundred and this is what you're going to need this for for your port setup. Okay, so they use 1336, which is right here for me. You put it in both slots, set to both, and add the ending of your IPv4 address, and enable it, and then save settings. And then after you do that, go back to JRAT setup, and then go to startup. Start up with the OS. I leave it as a temp and slash documents. It's easier melt that and hide install file. I never do instant messages because it's easier to explain that to the people that the program doesn't work. And then bind this is only if you want to combine this file with another file to make it work. Enable this and change that a few times. Allowed OS, you choose whichever ones you want. I use it for Mac and Windows mainly when I rat people. Timeout. Uh, leave that enabled. Delay. Don't enable that. If you want an icon, you can go and change that. That will be onto their taskbar when they ro when they run the program, which is kind of stupid if you ask me. But if you get an older version of the rat, this is 4.0. The um, rat won't show up on their taskbar. Persistence. You're going to want this in case they close the process so you'll always come back. USB. Uh, this is only if you want it to go into other drives which sure why not. Debug. Yes you'll want that. And then final and choose the location where you want to place it and the amount and then click build. But I already have mine set up. And that's pretty much how you set it up and that's all you do when you're done. Well, you have to look, add the socket now. So you're going to do that. The password was 1234 or whatever you put. And the key is the inscription key, which I have in the notepad document right there. And then you put that in, and then you click listen. And then it'll listen to that port, and then when they run your rat, the dot java pro well, program or whatever you changed it to they'll pop up in here and jrat if you have the free version the limited version you can only have up to 10 people and the tray and the icon will pop on onto their taskbar so that's all i have for here bye